Well, I'm on my way to talk to my sexual assault counselor. He's a doctor, which is good because he's actually the first psychology doctor I've seen ever. Most of them have just, you know, gone to the master's level of education. He's a doctor. He seems okay. I've met with him twice, I think. I keep missing my appointments. And everything's just kind of fucked up right now in my head. Because of all this stuff, I, I was read this article today about um, men who have been sexually assaulted or raped. Most of the stories, there are several different um, accounts in there from different men, and most of them were, uh, they're molested when they're younger. And it was good to see that they were, there was an article out there about men. Finally, people are starting to talk about this. Um, I had a bit of an anxiety attack this morning, so I'm all weirded out. <laughs> the, 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 what caused the anxiety attack was the responses to this article for people. I mean, one lady tried saying that men have it easier after they've been sexually assaulted because people tend to believe men more than they do women and that kind of set me off because that was such an untrue statement and I called her a cunt and a twat and a bitch and every name you can imagine because it, it angered me a lot. And it kind of, uh, it hit me really hard for some reason. I mean, normally I would have just been like, you're an ignorant fuck and dropped it. Well, I would have, of course, said more than that. But it, for some reason, just that comment really, really hit me hard. And, uh, then somebody else decided to chime in and tell me that I need to use better language. And they were really nice about it and everything. And so I responded to them in return. I know I'm not making sense right now. Uh, but I responded to them in a much less harsh way than I did the original commenter. And I, I get what they're saying because I do understand that when I start going off and raving like a lunatic and cussing and stuff, it really does close people's ears to what I'm saying. But there's a point where you just get tired of trying to be diplomatic because people exhibit such ignorance and stupidity about things they really don't understand. And uh, so I just kind of flew off the handle there, like I do often. I'm a very reactionary person. So... It just, it, it, I don't think I have the right words to even talk today. It's really tough because, and I know it's so cliche to say you feel like you're standing in the middle of a room screaming the room is full and nobody hears you or sees you but that that's probably the closest I can come to explain how I feel it's 
it's sort of like I'm behind a two-way mirror where I can see and hear everything and feel everything going on around me, but I can't come in contact with it. And I can't turn the little microphone thingy on for the intercom so people on the other side of that two-way mirror can uh, hear what I'm saying. I gotta relight my cigarette, so hang on a sec. It's, it's kind of funny because things, sayings like that, you know, standing in the middle of a crowded room and nobody hears you, you're screaming. I never really fully understood that, and uh, now I do. Like when I was seeing the last guy I was seeing, his smile, like, I never got or believed that somebody's smile could actually brighten a room until I met this guy because he has the most amazing smile I've ever seen and I'm not one of those people that are going to be like oh you have such a pretty smile blah 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 or oh you have pretty eyes blah 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 I'm just like yeah the whole package is nice uh, but you know it's just that I'm starting to understand some of these cliche things and, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just trying to get all of this out of me. Because I, I don't want to feel like I'm broken anymore. I don't want to feel like I'm wrong all the time. And I don't want to feel like I'm alone. I don't want to feel like nobody in this world can understand what's going on with me or what happened to me. I need to correct that. I don't want to feel like I'm the only man this has happened to. And I know that logically that's a silly way to think because I know it's happened to others, but when you don't see them or hear them, it can very much make you feel like you're in a void. And I am very, very happy that there are men coming forward the one thing that I'm a little disappointed about is that these men are coming forward, but it's all about when they were molested when they were kids or raped when they were kids. And I'm not saying that, you know, that's any less of a hard thing to deal with. What I'm saying is. I had it happen to me as a child and as an adult, and I don't really remember it from when I was a child. I just have little snapshots in my head of it, but I don't fully remember it. And the only way I really know it happened is because my sister got my brother to admit it, that he molested me, molested my sister that's a year older than me, and raped my sister who is six years older than me. I, uh, I'm trying, I'm really trying to keep my shit together. Just, it's, it's very strange because it, adult rape 
has thrown me more than being molested, and I think part of it is because I don't remember the molestation that well, and I think the other part is, as an adult, you've been basically trained to have your mind in a certain pattern. thinking and that's not even coming out right but if you can understand that great if you can't I'm not really sure how I can explain it but I know a lot of the way I feel about that being different is because I do remember being raped very very clearly but for it to happen as an adult, it, from my standpoint, it brought on a lot more shame and self-loathing than when I was a kid. You know, I, I never have ever had that much self-esteem. sunk even further and like I blame myself for things and this is very illogical for me to do. I blame myself for things that I have no involvement in and it may not really be blaming myself. I feel guilt for things that I'm not even involved with. Like this morning there was another mass shooting and I feel guilty about it and I, I wasn't in Maryland. I, I didn't. I just heard it on the news. And it's very. Uh, Jesus, I wish I could just say what I meant. But right now my head has so much static in it, it's not even funny. It's, it's very. I felt this coming on. I, I knew it was going to come, and I didn't think it was going to come on so fast. Because you can feel it. Um, it's it's definitely a mental thing. Like, it's in my head. But, even though I know it's not physical, it feels like it's physical. It's really strange how the body and the brain work together like that. It's fascinating, actually. But, um, I just... need to get this shit out of me. And I need to, uh... get this shit out of me. And I know I'm not making very much sense. But it's hard to put all this together. And I'm repeating myself and rambling. But it's hard to make what's going on in my head come out of my mouth. Because there is so much static in my head. I can't really get a clear perspective of what is in the middle of all that static and I can't articulate it but I'm on my way to go talk to the shrink and maybe he can help I don't know but it's worth a shot right anyway I'm going to quit my rambling because I'm getting close to the city of Knoxville here and I don't want to be in a lot of traffic and holding my phone talking. But you all have a great day. I hope everybody affected by 
the Hurricane Florence, I think. Hurricane Flo. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. And my deepest condolences to the loved ones of the 27 who have died. Not a very cheery thought, but if you're someplace where it's beautiful and sunny out like it is here in East Tennessee, gorgeous day. That sky is beautiful, but if you're someplace like this, go out, enjoy the sun and the warmth because it's going to go away soon because we're coming into fall here any day. And those of you who are where it's raining or it's not that warm, skip work and have a day for yourself. But I hope everybody has a great day. And I hope you're all doing well. And please, just remember, you don't walk in their shoes. Don't try and put yourself in there. Because you can't, ex you can't understand somebody else's experience until you've had that experience. And then a lot of times you still may not understand that person's experience. But I'm done rambling. I'm going to shut the fuck up now. Again, have a great day. Do something kind for yourself. Treat yourself to something. And let yourself know that you are important. 